Minasan konnichiwa, this is David. And Mina. And this evening we are unboxing the HG1144 Gundam Barbatos Lupus. Um, this is the new baseline model um, Mikazuki's suit from um, Iron Blooded Orphan Season 2. So um, it's basically just a little upgrade to the Barbatos, I think. I actually haven't seen any of season two of iron blood orphans we're behind yeah so but and honestly i didn't really have any big expectations of getting this but i was at 7-eleven paying a bill because that's what you do at 7-eleven in japan <laughs> and it was on clearance for 540 yen which is five bucks so i was like hey five bucks for the gundam barbatos lupus um can't really pass that up go into a convenience store pay a bill come out with a gundam yeah i paid my electric bill and mm -hmm. bought a gundam literally can't get better than that yeah yeah, so I'm going to toss this thing open. I'm going to probably throw it together and maybe do the review tonight, depending on how uh, things go. So um, let's see how that goes. Um, first off, let's take a look at the box art. It is kind of pretty. I like the um, the shoulders uh, with the little Tekadon logo. Um, looks like the kids have customized the Barbatos, made it their own. I like that. <clears throat> so, yeah, pretty simple. I mean, this is super bare bones kit, I'm sure. Take it on open here. There's something special in that box. Yeah, something sparkly. Looks mm. like a card. We'll find out in a moment. I think it's for um, one of the card games. Uh, anyway, uh, here's our A runner. It looks like um, pretty standard red. This mostly looks like, you know, Barbatos. It's not very complicated. Um, same the colors. The on the um, camera is coming out very lemony but it's actually got a little bit more orange to it in person yeah it does it's like a mustard mm -hmm. um so we really only have two bags of runners here this is a simple kit so a lot of the hero kits are kind of simple yeah yeah yeah, start, yeah typically I mean, yeah until you start getting the like mm -hmm. the strike freedom and stuff they're all pretty simple yeah Okay, here's our polycaps. Our polycaps are actually like a brownish color. I don't remember if the Barbatos has those um, in that color or not, but um, they are definitely not the normal polycap gray. Mm. Um, and then here is our big white panel runners. Um, actually, gray, white. I really like the little Tekadon logo. It's really cool. I was expecting that to be a um, sticker. But, no, it's, but it's not. Right in there. Yeah, that's gorgeous. That's really cool great great little touch for an hg kit yeah <clears throat> all right so you know pretty simple stuff and then here's mostly frame pieces um the barbatos has a lot of those because it likes to show off its frame that's one of my favorite things about the barbatos as it's got all these little hints that it's like almost organic well i imagine this one like <clears throat> the ones before the, the barbatos before it will be able to steal parts from other critters yes yes which i love <clears throat> Okay. Ah, Gundam Game 30th Anniversary. Huh. Look at the bear guy. Hi. <clears throat> okay, so Gundam Breaker 3. G Gundam Genesis, or G Generation Genesis. G Frontier. Man, there's a lot of Gundam games out right now. <laughs> Arena Wars, <clears throat> Conquest. Yeah, so, um... Lots of Gundam stuff happening. <clears throat> it's fun to build, damn it. <clears throat> it says They're, it right there. Yeah. Wow. They've included a little catalog with a ton of this stuff and a lot of the custom kit. And I guess because it's so cross-compatible, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, and then advertisements for the 1-100 the full mechanics, which are really pretty. It is pretty. I love the legs. Yeah. I love the slouch. Yeah. Oh, Gundam Expo. Uh, Winter Expo. Oh, yeah, this is the one that just finished, actually. Um, and then it looks like there is summer. a summer event. Or spring event. Spring event. Okay, so, yeah. This is really odd. This is a lot of pack in mm -hmm. content. Maybe because they were sending it to 7 Eleven. Yeah, that's true. This that's true. People who weren't going to go to a dedicated store or whatever. Yeah. 
Yeah, oh wow. Okay, so this is all pretty simple stuff. Um, and I like that um, they have been doing a lot more English in these. Mm -hmm. Like this one just flat out tells you about the action base two and everything like that, which is kind of cool. Um, and there you go. It's, I mean, it's a little four page pa or four panel um, pamphlet. So, all right, this is, oh, and stickers, stickers, stickers. Um, the original Barbatos had a couple that I wasn't too thrilled with, but it, by and large, it was okay. It looks like this is gonna be pretty much the same. The problem with the Barbatos stickers were, was that um, they had some problems wrapping around things. Mm -hmm. um, so these look like these might be problematic. I don't know, we'll find out. Uh, maybe those two, but. I'm interested in those green ones right there. Those are, um, those look interesting. Mm. Um, but, you know, here's our stickers. That's the glittery card. The, oh, sh glittery card. Okay, this is for... I think this is for Cross War or something? I don't know. Um, that's really lovely. I, I don't know if it's showing up through. It oh, is it actually. is actually. It's really lovely. Um, Hello. Yeah, yeah. So a lot of trading card games um, that are currently going on with Gundam. And it looks like two of them here have included cards for the Barbatos Lupus, which is kind of neat. So there we go. And gonna toss this thing together um and we'll probably do a short review of it okay. all right matane matane